What's going on guys? Mountaineer Mitch here bringing you a post game for the Belk Bowl between Cincinnati and Duke. Um, this game was a game of momentum shifts. And um, at the beginning of the game, Duke was rocking. They came in there and acted like they deserved to be there. And I'm not saying that they didn't deserve to be there. I mean, I'm just saying that they, they played their hearts out there in that first quarter, you know. And I thought, you know, Cincinnati looked so bad, you know. Um, just didn't seem like the coaching had anything in order, nothing all right. And, I mean, I guess I can understand that because of um, them losing their coach. And he was, and uh, Butch Jones was a coach in that game. And it's just a whole mess. And I probably plan on making a video down the line of, College football coaches leaving, in my opinion, on it. Leave it early before the bowl, in my opinion, on it. Um, but, you know, it just seemed like um, Cincinnati just didn't have anything in line. They looked like a lost team out there. Some of them didn't even look like they knew how to play football. You know, and then Cincinnati got everything balanced out. I mean, it just seemed like it took one quarter, and boom, they got, they got back in rhythm and scored 17 unanswered. And I was like, "Oh crap! Here they come!" And they and they went in and they and they scored and they scored again. And I was like, "Man, this game's over," you know. And uh, and they battled it back and forth, back and forth. And then the Duke Duke had moments to man saying, "Man, Duke football again," uh, you know what I mean? And I and I wanted you know I wanted to be rooting for Duke, you know. And it was it's so hard because I'm not taking anything away from Duke, but you know Duke's just you know they just go back to their old ways sometimes of not winning a game all season, you know, and you could see that in the little flutters. But Duke's just good enough to be in the bowl game, and I, I'm glad that Duke's in the bowl game. I'm not taking anything away from Duke. But, you know, I mean, Duke's such a <laughs> such a good so, – I mean, they're a pretty good team, you know. Both quarterbacks play phenomenal on both sides of the ball. You know, Brandon K, you know, for Cincinnati, one heck of a quarterback. He had, like, four passing touchdowns and – I mean, just one game, you know, and, you know, Duke had a chance to go down there and score. Cincinnati scored like 44 seconds left. Duke did a good job of getting down the field, getting down the field, you know, and, oh, no, this is before. I mean, uh, Duke fumbled in the goal, in the red zone, and you just can't do that. I mean, that's just the bottom line. You can't fumble in the red zone. <clears throat> and, and, uh, and the thing that hurt Duke, I mean, you were in the red zone twice and you came around with zero points. Now, now that just kills a team, especially going against the caliber opponent as the same as Cincinnati or anybody that's that good, you know. And, um, and I mean, it's just a good game, you know. So, I mean, I, I, I like watching the game, and it really came down there to the end. And, uh, yeah, Cincinnati ended up with the victory. Uh, they threw the interception there and at the end. But Duke had a chance. I mean, Duke wasn't going away. And neither was Cincinnati, though. So that's what I like to see. Both of these play with a lot of heart tonight. And I'm, I'm glad I covered this bowl because um, if I didn't cover it, I wouldn't be able to talk about this moment. And they just play a lot of heart, a lot of momentum shifts and stuff like that. So uh, congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to uh, Cincinnati for winning somehow without their head coach, you know, after looking so bad in the first quarter. And congratulations to Duke by getting into another bowl, uh, uh, their first bowl since 1994. And um, it, the way they coach there and – Maybe next year they might be able to pull out a bowl victory. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But that's really about it, guys. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Twitter link down in the description. And that's really about it. Mountaineer Mitch signing out. Peace.